What's up, everybody? I'm Justin Labar. We're here at Point Park University, the beautiful Point Park cheer and dance team. And Rob, do you believe in bison? What does that even mean? I believe in bison on a burger with some ketchup and some provolone, and this is Upview. <laughs> It is another wonderful episode of Upview on Upgroove.com. That's right, everything that's trending, sports, news, entertainment, the weird stuff, that's where you want to go. Upgroove, you can download the app. We're here at the beautiful Point Park University CMI. What are you talking to the bison about? We've got things going on. You speak bison a minute ago, you were eating I'll it. I speak fluent bison, thank you very much. Just a hair off of that Montreal. I didn't know we had a French bison Canadian. here. I thought you were asking me if I were having a bison. I really don't eat bison burgers. I mean, like meat. Regular, grade A, normal, non-bison meat. Or chicken. Chicken is good. What's tougher? Chicken, right? Chicken? What's, chicken. What's, t what's tougher to speak, uh, bison or Canadian? Well, everything's tougher when it's Canadian. <laughs> good God. We have Worse, a, too. We, uh, they kill bison right. in Canadian. Not here. We like our bison. That's true. Go bison. We have a great week of uh, Upview yeah. videos this week. Uh, Rob, we have a great, great uh, week for me. This is, this is exciting. Uh, we got to have Doc Emmerich, the Doc Emmerich, the voice of uh, NHL on NBC. We did a, uh, a nice sit-down interview with him. I was very nervous for you because I really, I, I thought you were going to choke, and you didn't. Uh, you were very good. I was nervous. I we was, but it came through all right. No, we bribed him with cookies. We bribed him with cookies. Well, we, got a, uh, we have a lot of videos with him this week. We're going to show yep. you a clip of that here in just a little bit. Uh, we'll talk about who our favorite doc is, but first, we've got to give a shout-out to some of the uh, great stuff that's on Upgroove.com this week. Some of my favorite uh, serious and not serious stories, uh, Revival Chili serves up uh, hot food and second chances. This is basically ex-convicts that are serving chili okay. uh, here in Pittsburgh and all the way, all the way around the, uh, the industry. I'm worried about the chili story before the bison, you know. Good point. This one, talking about Canada, I love this one. A uh, man stashes $100,000 inside of an old TV and gives it away. A Canadian man put $100,000 on TV years ago. He's going to give it away to a relative and let him inherit it. He forgot. Did you know Send it to the recycling. that $100,000 in Canadian money is like $139,000 as of today? Which means that gentleman is a stupid idiot. That is a very stupid idiot. They did give him, uh, luckily the people at the recycling facility, they did find the money and they, uh, they gave it to the cops because they had documents along with the money. Our that, cops or their cops? Their cops, the Mounties. Uh, and, and they they're gave not a, really cops. They're like on <laughs> horses and they got like little pogo sticks that they carry around. Well, they gave the cash and the documents stupid back idiots. to the uh, to the said idiot and, uh, and they gave him a, a note with the money and it said, would, put it in the bank. Would you even run from a Mountie? Like, no. I just stand there, be like, yeah, come, come at me with your horse, Mountie. Like, they're not gonna do anything. They're just gonna be like, well, you say that. I got a bison on my side. Bison. What are they gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna ride a bison. Like, Bring it, Mountie. <laughs> You've been recruited to law enforcement, there, bub. All right, and finally, uh, here's a great one. Holy crap! Two dudes steal ninety thousand dollars worth of diapers. That's a lot of shit. Where, where, wait a minute. Were they filled? Didn't say. Oh. Didn't say. But nonetheless, it's a lot. You ever cleaned a diaper? Yes. Yeah, I haven't. You haven't? Never. No. They won't do it. You won't do it or you These haven't These hands cannot be touching, like, diaper. You were just stuff. talking to touch into a bison. The bisons are clean. You don't know where he's been. <laughs> Anyways. I feel you're judging the bison a little too harshly. Not the bison. Uh, Doc hey, Emmerich either, interview coming up in just yeah. a few moments, but who's your favorite doc? Who's your favorite doctor? <sighs> well, I was going to go with Doc Octopus, but I think Doctor Doom. You know, Doctor Doom is like this, this very... Uh, sadistic villain who just wants to use all the energy for the world and where is this this is in comic books oh you're out of my yeah. range here but I also like Doc Holliday uh, got Doctor Who Do I don't like Doctor you don't like Who, Doctor no. Who. But I like Doc Holliday because he has that line in that movie uh, uh, one of the movies about Wyatt Earp you know I'll, Tombstone. I'll be your Huckleberry and mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell it means well, but it was sounds good. good yeah so mine's Doctor Evil Doctor Feelgood no Doctor Evil no Doctor Feelgood is also another doctor well, but Dr. Evil is the author. He's not really a doctor, though. He spent six years in evil medical school, as he said in the movie. That cat was weird. Mr. Bigglesworth. Yeah, it was weird. It didn't have any hair. Like, what if our bison didn't have hair? How weird would that be? Yeah, see? A bald bison. Shouldn't do that to cats. I think that could be a fun contest in a few weeks. Is a, like somebody loses or wins a contest and gets to shave the bison. I, I like um, Doc Brown from... Uh, uh, I'll, okay, I'll agree with okay. you on that one. All right. I'll agree with you on Doc Brown. Well, uh, his real name, of course, Dr. is Mike... Pepper? Too spicy. Diet Dr. Pepper. Too flat Cherry of a taste. vanilla Dr. Pepper. Too Why much... do they even need a cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper, by the way? Because look, Dr. Pepper has cherry and vanilla in it. 
very upset. I'm very upset. Very upset. All right, well, Sorry, his, of course, his, his real name is Mike, but they call him Doc. He's very well educated. He's, he's an encyclopedia of, of information with sports, specifically hockey. We sat down with him, a very lengthy interview that we're going to release in parts as the week goes on. But this clip that we'll leave you with, try to get a little lighthearted with him. We asked Doc Emmerich, what's his favorite hockey movie? And he gave us a very interesting answer and some fun tidbits. A favorite hockey movie, if you have one. Slap shot. Slap shot. Yeah, it wasn't at first. I, I just thought there was there was too much, you know, in, in the late 70s, it was actually making the game look bad because of all of the bad language. Yeah. But I realized, hey, that was the language of hockey. But now I, I guess our, our perception of all of that has changed. Yeah. But I think in terms of everything that was in that movie happened at one time, just not all in one season. Right. Yeah, but no, it, it's it's still a favorite, and we uh, it was a it was a fire up thing. We used to play the uh, the Struther Martin thing about we're losing, they're burying us alive, before every NBC telecast. Within 30 seconds before we the light went on and we signed on, Sam Flood, our producer at that time, would play that clip, and that was just to get us ready for a game. 